Well, the second most popular resolution behind losing weight is to pay down debt. So, new body, new credit score mm -hmm. for the new year. All right. It's so, a good plan. And it's also actually one of the toughest goals to tackle yeah. as well. So, this morning we have finance professor Don Ricardo here uh, joining us with ways to keep your resolution. First and foremost, good morning to you, Dan. Good to see you. What's up, Delon? Hi, Mel. How Hello. you guys doing? Happy New Year in advance. Yes. Well, back at ya. Happy New Year. So let's talk about this for a second. First and foremost, looking back on this entire year, yeah. how did we do when it comes to debt? How about a C minus? Not oh. great. <laughs> We've got about over a trillion dollars of credit card debt, you know, on, yeah. on our plastic. 56% of us say that we're worried about our savings and our debt. 52% of us say it's actually hurting our mental health. So that's not good, uh, but the good news is we believe in the power of redemption and we can get better. Hey, we need to make those numbers better. If you're talking about half of people who are suffering mentally because of it, yeah. let's talk about how we can really actually put a dent in the debt. What are some of the top financial priorities, do you think, for the new year where you can actually pull that off and see a difference? It's hard to make ends meet right now with everything so expensive. It sure is. And this is the no shame zone. As you guys know, we're all in this boat together, right? So no shame on any of this stuff. Number one, pick out a credit card from your purse or your wallet, the one with the highest interest rate. Let's focus focus on that one card over 2024. Let's forget the others, make the minimum payments if you have to, but let's just focus on one and reduce that one if we can. Start that rainy day fund with an extra five or 10 bucks. Uh, cancel a subscription and put that money in your rainy day fund. You won't miss that subscription. Increase your 401k. The easiest way for mere mortals like me at least to increase our wealth is another 10 or 20 bucks out of our paycheck. It's beer money, we won't miss it goes right into your 401k plan, grows tax-free. It's a great way long-term to build wealth. Mm -hmm. So two-part question here, because I mean, you definitely want to stay on track. You want to pay off yep. your credit cards, but oftentimes you still want to put money aside. So how do you stay on track and then pay off your credit cards, but still also have a rainy day fund as well? It's the Texas two-step, guys, and you know <laughs> better than I do, right? So it's, it's all a question of balance. And the idea here is that you and I are wired that we can do two things at once. We can put an extra five or 10 bucks in our 401k plan, and we can also put an extra five or 10 bucks on that high interest credit card, right? So I'm a big believer in we can do those things at the same time. I'm not a big believer in becoming totally monastic and doing only one thing at a time because it sets us up for all kinds of failure, right? So be realistic, look for those small wins. Studies have shown that when you and I get that little victory, the next one comes easier. Mm -hmm. Set reminders, maybe once a month, once every three months, take a look at your progress to see how you're doing. Just like you're sitting on the scale, standing on the scale every morning, let's check your, your financial situation once a month. And one of my favorites, add rewards. And what I mean by that is it's okay to pat yourself on the back every once in a while and say, I did a good job. I'm gonna go get that Manny Petty. I'm gonna go get those sports tickets. I did okay and I'm gonna reward myself. As long as the reward is, you know, <laughs> somewhat reasonable, so we're not doing no. a shopping spree and put ourselves <laughs> right, back right back where you were. To where you were. Just one last quick question for you, Dan. When you talk about how, you know, when you see progress, it really helps your mental state. If you have multiple credit cards and they're all about the same interest rate, is it good still to just focus on one so you can literally just check it off and then move on to the next, or just or, or pay both of them equally? Great question. And you know, you can't go wrong either way, Mel, but for me, and you know me pretty well by now, I'd say let's go for that victory. Let's mm -hmm. pick that one that we really want to get rid of, crush it, cut it up in a million pieces, move on to the next one. <laughs> and the credit card companies are saying, no, don't do that. <laughs> and burn them all going into the new year. <laughs> Good to see you. All right, Dan. Have a great week. Thanks, weekend. guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.